Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Multiverse Core for Spigot 1.9.2. Okay, so first let's go over to the file manager, let's go over to plugins, and in the plugins folder, let's click on upload file. We can do it directly from URL here. So let's go over, and this is the URL you're going to need first. You'll find it on the screen. Once you're here, click on the newest update, and you'll see the different jar files here. Right click on just multiverse core copy link address. Let's go back over and the link address that we just copied, paste into here and upload from web. As soon as that's done, let's go back to my server and restart the server. As soon as the server has been restarted, let's go back to the file manager, go under plugins again, and you should see the multiverse core folder. Let's open that, and you will see the config YML. Let's open this. So first off, this has a warning uh, saying if you mess up in any way, basically you can uh, copy the values out, delete it, whatever. Um, just delete the whole file. You can just delete the whole config YML file, restart the server, and it will regenerate it as, as default. Uh, first we're gonna go with the prefix chat we're gonna keep that to true so anybody that talks in the chat it will show the world that they're in as well as the chat format that you might have set with a different chat formatting plugin usually you don't have to change anything in here uh, you can change this I'm gonna change this down to zero and teleport cooldown I'm gonna set it to no cooldown on that this is usually all that's really needed to be changed, if anything at all. Once you've changed everything to your satisfaction, click save. Let's go back, restart the server one more time. As soon as the server's been restarted again, let's open up Minecraft. Let's go over to the tutorial server. Once you've joined the server, let's type MV. And you can see here, these are all the commands that you can use with the multiverse plugin. So, let's just type MV for the first list. Let's type MV list. These are the worlds that are currently loaded. So you can MV TP to world, which I just did, MV TP to world nether. MV confirm, which teleported me into lava. And you can see that it's teleported me here to the nether. Uh, however, it is very unsafe to do that since there's no current portals here. Uh, it actually spawned me in there and I kept dying. So anyway, let us go MV TP world the end. And here we go. So now we're in the end. And there's the dragon. So let's do MVTP world. Let's go back to the world. And it is raining. Okay, so let's do MV create. You can create any of these types of worlds. Uh, let's make a flat world. MV create flat world. Uh, let's just call it flat world. Uh, normal T flat Let's start in the creation and it's complete MV list and now you see that so MV TP flat world and now you see that I have a flat world here with the MV clone command you can clone a world so you can make a backup of it if you want or use it to have multiple versions of the same thing. Now let's import a world. So let's first go to the file manager and we're going to want to upload a world here. So let's go to upload file, choose files, and I have a side world here. I called it side world and I already have it in a zip file. So let's upload that zip file, upload from the computer. 
Once that's been uploaded, let's go and unzip it. Once it's been unzipped, let's go back to Minecraft. Let's type mv import. And we would do slash mv import world name. So in this case, side world. And then it is a normal world. Let's start in the import and it's complete. So let's do mv tp side world. And as you can see here, this is a world that I have on one of my other servers that I've just uploaded and imported. So a couple of the other commands we can do. Uh, we can do mv set spawn, and that'll set the spawn to where you're at. mvm set adjust spawn true, and for whatever world you want, so side world. And now let's do mv spawn, and it fixed it to a, an area that seems safe. You can also do mv who, and that'll list all the players as well as the worlds that they're in. And when you talk in the chat, it will show the world that you're in, your name, and then what you say. All right, guys. So that is how you install and set up Multiverse Core. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.